Hi, everybody. It is Skari, and I'm incredibly nervous. Um, this is my first real championship game where I'm not using a meme team, where I'm putting effort in. I'm incredibly nervous. I'm really nervous. I really want to win this. I really so... I desperately want to win this. I desperately want to win this. I think I'm ready. I think I'm waiting for my opponent right now. Um, whatever happens, man. GG's. It was a great season from both of us. Um, obviously, if one of us doesn't get it, we didn't meet the season goal, but... I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm really, really nervous. <sighs> oh my god okay um so here's the team we got zongster uh we got breloom we have skeledurge we have cyclozar we have pex and we have chien pao I'm so nervous. I'm so fucking nervous for this match. Um, Ruination, I'm assuming Palde and Taurus Fire is probably going to come. So I'm pretty sure Ruination does more than uh, Psychic Fangs. Uh, no Sacred Sword because I'm worried of Ditto coming. And if Ditto comes, it, you know, picks up KOs. And I don't really want that. <laughs> I don't want to get reverse swept by Chien Pao. So this set um, is pretty good for me. And it's something that the rest of this team can handle. I don't need Chien Pao to have an amazing role. I really, I mean, this thing could clean this. If it comes in, it forces a switch in to either Nation or I can double from it. So it puts me in a really good spot. Cyclozar is kind of just a pivot mon for me to get to point A to point B. Um, if... There's no, like, Life Orb Greninja, or there's no, you know, uh, Scarf Gengar or something, then this mod completely checks, completely walls, and we're all good. Um, but if it's Specs, it's a good indicator for Cyclozar to, you know, see. Um, it lives a Specs Focus Blast um, from this, so that's cool. Skeldurge, um, originally I had Power Herb Solar Beam uh, and Terra Water, but... I figured Terra Grass makes more sense. Uh, I also didn't factor in... I factored in Azumarill, but I did not factor in... Um, who did I not factor in? Um, I think it might have been Gren. I don't know. I uh, Maybe Water is the play. Maybe it is Water Power Herb. Maybe it is... Uh, I have Terra Grass to, um, for two reasons. One, it's to surprise potentially Greninja, and two, it's, it's, you know, to wall Azumarill, to check it completely, and be done with it, and don't have to worry about it at all. So those are my two, that's, that's why Skeletor is here, it also just, you know, it walls, uh, Dragonite. Insanely well, obviously. And um, next we have Breloom, which you know just fucking goes hard. I mean, bulldoze a minus. Uh, this outspeeds minus one Gengar. Uh, if I catch it on a switch in, and it's not Scarf, and it's just Specs or Orb or something. Um, Zong. Uh, this is really like a multi-purpose, purposeful set. I have press to counter a possible Terra Normal Dragonite. I don't think that will come, but regardless, this also, uh, you know, oh god. This also gets Greninja on a switch in. Uh, it gets the Dunsparce, oh god. Um, reflect is, reflect screens. I was, I was originally Light Clay, but I want recovery. Um, so I'll have to settle for five turns. Uh, but Reflect and Light Screen are just 
Mainly the light screen is for PEX, and then both screens are for uh, Champal, so that it's living more hits and whatnot. Um, and it just benefits everybody. I didn't know what to slap onto the set, but I wanted rocks, I wanted press, and I didn't really <laughs> have another option from there besides uh, possibly iron defense. But I don't really like that either. So, yeah, I mean, I'm... Mm, I could I could just literally slap it on right now if I wanted to. Um I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Reflect because Paldean Tauros Blaze is gonna be a monster. If that thing okay, that thing's gonna come and it's probably gonna be offensive and that's gonna be scary. Uh possible months I want to bring were Tatsugiri, that was on the board. That's really it though. Um yeah, that's really the only mon I, I also had possibly coming. Um, I mean, Dawn Fan was a, like a thought, but Bronzong does everything it does better. I have Spin on you, so I'm not too worried about possibly Fortress. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. Um, if I had to guess a possible team, I think it's going to be, um, Gengar, Paldea, Paldea, Tauros, Blaze, Rotomo, Dragonite, and then, uh, Azumarill, and Fortress. I don't know if that's six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So something like that. I could also see Fortress just not coming in favor of uh, Ditto, or I know Dunsparce just came against me. I don't think that thing is coming against me this time. Uh, I could see Greninja possibly coming just because it, it slaps things pretty hardly, and my team just doesn't really appreciate it. But I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, if you've stuck with this series for this, this far, thank you. Um, it, I don't know. I I wasn't even planning on uploading these, but I started making a run in playoffs, so I figured I might as well uh, put this on the channel and, <laughs> and get it going, but yeah, yeah, no. I really want to win this. I really want to win this. I really want to win this. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm really nervous. I'm really, really nervous. Oh my god. I will definitely be putting a a timestamp, by the way, um, because honestly, I was kind of expecting us to just kind of get into the match. Um, I said 10 to 15 minutes, and it's been like 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, but no worries, no worries at all. Um, that's a crazy comment. Um... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh man. Oh man. But yeah, no, this match has literally probably been on my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, before the match begins, I just want to say I apologize first off if I am not talking as much or if I'm overly talking or whatever because you're probably going to be seeing a different person play this match. Um, I have the calcs set up right next to me 
because I need them. Um, and yeah, good luck to my opponent. Whatever happens, happens, and... <sighs> Alright, no Gengar. No Gengar. That is good to see. That was really good to see. Um... Grand Ninja. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's bring up the music. Oh, what? I didn't... I figured you would need a turn. Alright. The games begin. You don't have a switch in.
That's one. Hmm. Play. This that comes back on.
Well, fuck me. This is bad for my opponent. My opponent's now essentially locked into doing this, which, you know, they're taking, what, 12% with Ninja every time? Now I get a free U-turn. Now I get a free U-turn. All right, all right, we are back. Perfect. Oh, that was a big turn. Okay. All right. I think Brelum's always the play. Actually, what do you even do to me? Yeah, what do you do to me? You willow, that's... That's fine. If they will, that's fine. Yep, that's fine with me. I'm gonna go back into Pex on probably an Ice Beam. Because at this point, you gotta... Yeah. Perfect. Rocks. Reflect. On night. And we go Chen.
Terra Fairy School. Sorry for the crit. Uh I believe I could just go dirge actually. It's a greedy play. Don't want to get poisoned. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. 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 Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't <laughs> fathom. I can't. I I genuinely cannot fathom. I I can't fathom this. <laughs> I really three fucking years. Three years since I've last had a finals appearance. A finals appearance. And we memed. We memed on that. And now and now. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I really... <laughs> I can't believe it. I've... Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to say it just because it's in the thing. It's it's literally in the uh the chat, but unfortunately 
They brought the wrong team. It had the same ones, but just different sets. But with that all being said, I honestly don't think that would have mattered too much. I really don't. Just because of the way they played and whatnot. Like, I don't know the sets, obviously, but, um... Banded D-Knight with Facade. Damn. I don't think that beats me, but... Um... Because Brellum is Brellum, but... Holy. Holy. Um... Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't- I- I'm sorry. I just- Oh my god. I really, like... This is a long time coming, man. This was a long time coming. Oh man, all of these mods are gonna be immortalized, man. All of them. All of them played a role. Every single one of them, besides Brelum, came out. Um, but I think even then, like... I'm so mad. I didn't even get to use recover. Um, recover ruination. I didn't even get to bring it, and I'm I'm a little I'm a little annoyed. I think I have a right. Um. Yeah. Just. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just... I, I don't know what to say, man. 11 seed. 12, 12 teams get in. I was already guaranteed a spot, win or not, last week. But even then, I mean... Barely getting in. Defeating former opponents and it leading to... Unfortunately, not a match against the one seed, but literally, it, it's the person, the two people are in the finals are the best players, the best teams, best players. They use their team the best. Those are usually that is how it works. So to me, this, I mean, I guess technically it is the second best team now, but I, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, considering it was a, a 6-0-2. I, I... So this is the team I think they would have brought. And honestly, I thought it was going to be Banded Dragonite. So I, again, I don't think it mattered too much. Um, and it doesn't... It's Terra Dragon, so yeah. It doesn't outspeed, and this is Terra... This Azumarill's Terra Water. And it's bulky Azumarill Terra Water. Which is really cool to see. That is really cool. Um, and then Fortress with Spin Duty, of course. Yeah, yeah, no. This team definitely would have done better against me, but... A lot of heat, a lot of heat, but... We end up taking it, we end up taking it. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought winning one would kind of just be like, Okay, I'm good, I'm done. But... If they said they didn't use the team from last week, I think I'd probably feel more impacted by it, but now I I kind of just want to I, I want another at this point. Um, yeah. 
yeah. Um, I don't. I, I've really. I'm sorry. I have no idea what to say, man. Um, I'm gonna continue draft, obviously. Um, and I guess I'm still gonna try to be in four or five leagues. Um, cause while I'm very happy I won, and like I said, this is my first league I've ever won. There still feels. It feels like there's a lot left on the table, man. It it feels like this didn't feel like a championship win, if that makes sense. This felt good, but it didn't feel real, I guess. And I think if I get one legit, like, no excuses finals win. If I get one of those, I think that will definitely cure this weird feeling I have right now, but I'm still very happy. And again, GG's to Keem, man. He great, just great player. Good player. I'm so glad I got the privilege to play him. Hopefully, if they do next season, hopefully we get to play each other again. <laughs> And not bring the wrong team against each other, but yeah, no, it's it's done. It's been done. the 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 run's complete. The first championship is complete. And with that, all of these mons are now immortalized. Man, all of these guys are immortalized. We got. Uh, I'll even I'll recount them from my head. I know it from top to bottom. We got. Probably one, if not my favorite, definitely my top three favorite mons to use, Chien Pao. Old Reliable, put in work, was nearly the kill leader. If you count playoffs, I believe it was the kill leader. Insane mon, and it just, I don't want to say it carried me, but it definitely, there were definitely moments where I relied upon Chien Pao. Um, it's just such a ridiculous mon, man. It literally is a Mega Weavile. Um... Up next, Skeletors with Terra. Incredibly broken mon. Like, I think without that mon, I don't know if I have the success I have. Um, being able to have an unaware mon that can defensively Terra into any type and have, re like, better bulk than Quagsire, an attacking stat unlike Quagsire, um, access to a mon, like, access to a move like Torch Song, um, it's insane. It's an insane mon. I think it's busted, and I'm, I, there's no way this mon doesn't get um, Terra banned next season if that's a thing. Um, but that's Dirge. That's Dirge. Um, incredible mon. Just a lot of fun. And then next is the mon I tried to pair with Chien Pao, and it worked in the playoffs, but not in the regular season. And that's Brelum. And Brelum's kind of grown on me. Uh, um. You know, if I had it early out in the playoffs, especially that round one matchup, and I got powered, I think I'd have a different opinion of Brelum. But, I just, Brelum put in the work when I needed it to. In this matchup especially, it would have went off. I should have went Brelum instead of, a, um, or no, I, I should have, I don't know what I should have done. I should have done, I should have brought in a, Breloom on Azumarill on one turn because that pretty much guarantees me a free KO or it forces in Dina and it gets me some momentum. So I'm a little upset I didn't bring Breloom, but that's besides the point. Up next, we got Pex, who I'm not gonna lie, is, is also now one of my favorite mons. I think the Assault Vest was definitely my favorite. I love offensive packs. All of my packs, I believe, had, like, at least some attack investment. This one was modest with 112, and that was for Palde and Tauros Blaze. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Pex was just a monster. It put in defensive work like no other Pokemon I've seen, um, where it just tanks so many hits. Like, it, I love walls that, that just tank hits and can deal out a blow. It's why Bro's one of my favorite mons, or at least last year, it's why Bro's one of my favorite mons. It's why Ting Lu, this generation, is one of my favorite mons. 
I, I love those kind of mons, and Pex definitely fits that bill, so I thoroughly enjoyed Pex. Up next, we got Zongster. We got the Zong, who I didn't actually use too many times, and I kind of regret it, but when it came, it usually just did its job. You saw in this game, um, it got rocks up, so it prevented Greninja from doing much, and it also... Um, gave me that nice little boost on the, uh, on the Dragonite. That was definitely very helpful. So, once I realized Dragonite was starting to, to stall out the Reflect turns, that was when I was like, oh, fuck. And I kind of wished I, I did have a Light Clay instead, because Lefties didn't do much. But, Zong put in work, man. Zong put in a ton of work. And I'm, I'm very glad I drafted Zong. Um, up next... Actually, not on this finals roster is Don Fan, um, and again, Don Fan I felt didn't really come, but it had an impact every time. Whether it's you know getting unfortunately hacked by a um, King Gambit, and you know pulling rest like two times or whatever, or pulling something two times, and not really working out the best, but Fan put in a lot of work. It got rocks up usually. It could spin the hazards away very efficiently. Um, it was just a good tank. It, it was a really good tank. And again, it's it's a kind of tank I like. And yeah, that that's Zong. I believe next, now we have Cyclozar. And Cyclozar is another one that I'm really starting to enjoy. Because I think it's super versatile. Obviously, if I had Shed Tail, it would be insane. And I think I'd be crazy with it. But, um, just... A set like this. A utility set. I think it, Cycles are so good at it. Um, getting that knock on, on Rotom was huge. It was big. So I like that. I thoroughly like that. Um, yeah. Cycles are just was a great mon. It, it's truly a great mon, and I enjoyed using it, um, especially U-Turn. I think U-Turn is a godsend on this mon, um, and just helped. It, it, it's just a good mon, man. It's just a good mon. Uh, up next, I believe, is Oricorio. Oricorio, again, didn't come, I think it only came in two, two weeks, but in those two weeks, it won every match, and I got the final kill. Like, Oricorio is very matchup dependent as I'm on, but it works so well, and it was so good, and it, I, I, I'm just, I love my team. I, I think my team was amazing, and I, and I really enjoyed playing with it. Um, and Oricorio, having that flexibility, um, again, like, I think my team was busted just because there's so much things you have to predict whether it's dirge and what terror type it wants to tear it into i know i obviously favored water and fairy a ton but um you know stuff like that um you have champa which is obviously a menace in itself you have breloom which could spore it could be a toxic heal it could uh, sd it could be loaded dice there's a ton of uh, just shit with that and finding something that can break Pex and Dirge and, you know, Zong and, and Dawn Fan and all these different walls that I can throw out is tough. It is very tough. So I think my team was broken in that one. I think another mon that really helped, two mons that really helped with that um, were Espeon and Tatsugiri. Three Rapid Spinners and a Magic Bouncer in a in a... Meta that's dominated by hazards and hazard spam and getting them up as efficiently as possible and then winning is a godsend. It, it truly was um, because I, it felt like hazards never came. And I have to owe that credit to those um, four mons in particular. Um, but yeah, uh, Espeon, as well as just being a great magic bouncer, uh, could wish pass... It could call mind. It could just lay out some psychics. I know in my matchups, I think I, I brought yawn once. Um, 
it's a good mon, man. It's a good mon. It's, again, an, a little prediction reliant just because psychic type is such a um, weird offensive type where if there's a dark type, you literally... I never click psychic if I see a dark type because I'm just like, that thing's going to switch in. <laughs> like, if you misplay with Espeon, you lose a ton of turns. But if you make the right play consistently, Espeon is one of those like really good low, low tier mons. Um, that feel like a high tier mon. Um, and Tatsugiri, I believe that was the last mon, was incredible. I know it only came in like two matches, but Draco spam is, is insane with a high ass uh, special and a high ass, um, you know, Draco and a high ass uh, hydro and a spammable surf and. Um, uh, what you would call it, a uh, baton pass for um, switching in and out. Just a good mon, man. And then you have Robert Spin just to, you know, do shit like that. I, I really enjoyed using Assault Vest because I think that really highlighted what it was good at. And it gave it bulk, which it very much needed. And it, it could match up pretty well against a lot of special, special attackers just on its typing alone. So I felt that... It could take a hit, and it could deal out an even stronger one. And that was kind of how I tried to use Tatsugiri. Um, but that's the team. That's the team. I hope I didn't forget anybody. Um, but yeah. I'm... Again, I don't know how to feel about this at this point. Um, in the moment, I was very excited and whatnot. But I want another. I really want another. Um, just because this... Knowing about... That they didn't use the right team. It feels like... You know how it feels. I don't have to keep describing it. Because I, I think you can grasp a picture on how this might feel. Um, but I want another one, man. I'm good with th this one. This, this definitely... I don't know. It, it releases a, a chain off of me that felt like holy shit you have to you have to win one you have to get one and now that that's gone i feel like my sets can kind of my sets were already becoming a lot relaxed um obviously like uh cyclos i was calcing the stats for toxapex i calced um i think in even champau i calced a ice spinner on a dragonite at full so that's why it's 152 um and I count not you. Was it? It was just these three. Um, but I do, and and this um, bulldoze calc for speed for Gengar. So I do a lot of calcs, and or not. I don't do a lot of calcs anymore. But I used to do a lot of calcs. So having to finally, I guess, um, I don't. I don't want to say let go, but kind of just coast a bit and kind of relax a, a little bit and it'll be nice it'll be nice um but like i said i want one i want another one i want a real one one that makes me feel a little a little bit more complete than this um because i definitely feel good about it but it just doesn't hit right so yeah with this win I guess I should be announcing a couple of things, and that is, firstly, my voice, um, because I know my voice doesn't sound great, and I've really been trying to improve it. I know that's not obvious, and I know you can't really tell, but I've been labbing with my voice, um, so just expect me to, uh, I don't know, make weird noises maybe sometimes um like one of the one of the exercises that you do or at least that i've been doing is you like i don't know you just like i don't know how to describe it but i make a loud pitch noise i kind of like raise i i realize you can't see me but i kind of just raise um I guess aim for like the top of my mouth um, and I put my tongue there and I kind of just 
raise my pitch as high as possible. So that's one of them. Um, so if I do something like that in upcoming videos, um, that's why. Uh, because with this match, I this has definitely been a confidence booster. And I want to kind of take that to the next level. And I want to start um, improving myself now that I know that, hey, I can, I can win a draft league. Which is something that I haven't been able to do for roughly four and a half years. Nearly five years at this point. So, to be able to kind of just, you know, say that, do it, or whatnot, um... That's what I want to do. And a lot of it's probably going to be tough just because I care way too much about what people say or think about me. Um, but as the famous Jay Schlatt once said, I don't know who he got it from, but you have to, if you're unsure about something or you're hesitant, or whatever, I'm paraphrasing. Um, you you should take a big dive into it. So that's kind of my my mentality right now. And this league is definitely the confidence booster I needed. Um, I'm still I'm probably gonna be uploading a little bit less. I'm probably gonna be uploading every Wi-Fi league I'm in and whatnot, and and doing all that kind of stuff, but. Yeah, um, um, oh my god. <sighs> and I'm in the Hall of Fame. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted. Um, yeah, I did have it hit everybody. Wow. Um, I I don't know what to say. I really, I think I got everything I wanted to get out. Um, thank you for sticking around for this channel. I know it's probably been a rough time for everybody. I think everyone deals with their own struggles and everyone deals with their own insecurities. So to take the however much time you take to watch this video in particular and watch any of my videos in, in particular and keep up with me and, and interact with me online, I really do appreciate it. I, I know I kind of sound emotionalist, but from the bottom of my heart, just thank you. And um, more content is obviously to come. But I might take a little break from uploading. Um, and it's... <sighs> I know it's summer. And it's literally like the perfect time to upload. But I have definitely felt burnt out from the amount of draft leagues that I've consecutively been in and I kind of want to take a step back and just kind of play them how I used to play them without an audience or if I do upload I'll probably just upload the replays and not the actual uh, commentary and like what I'm thinking during a match but that's gonna be it for me this video is way too long it's at least an hour but I guess that's to be expected from a championship video because any playoff video I do is usually above 40 minutes with commentary, so. Thank you again. And thank you to everyone on the server. And thank you. Thank you to a really good friend of mine. Um, Joe. I don't know if he's watching this. I don't, I don't even know if he knows I have a YouTube channel. But um, he was. He, he wanted to get more into draft league. He's in my college league. And he's wanted to get more into draft league, so. I kind of threw him a bone, and I was like, hey, you know, this is how you join servers and whatnot, and he was like, hey, I found this really cool server, and, like, did you want to kind of do it together, or did you, you know, and I was like, nah, I'm I'm in, like, six or seven leagues already, I'll 
I'll, you know, I'll let you have this one. And then, uh, I changed my mind, and I joined the league, and, um, we got put in se in separate pools, and we didn't even match up in playoffs. He barely missed out, but, um, thank you to him, because I would not have joined this league, and I wouldn't have made the relationships and, and friendships that I've made, so, from the bottom of my heart, just thank you to him, and yeah, that's going to be it for me. And see you guys later as a one-time champion. Peace.